Guys, welcome back to another video. We've been reporting the news for a while on TikTok, and sometimes there's dry days, and sometimes, you know, days are hot, right? Exactly. exactly. Nice, dude. <laughs> I, that was my easy line. That was my line. line. That was my easy line to you continue. You stole my bar, bar for bar. Dude, we gave you the script this morning. It's Chris is supposed to say exactly, and then you're supposed to say, oh, I get what you mean, Chris. Oh, right? I get what you mean, Chris. Exactly. Thank you. Can we please Maybe follow not. the script? The teleprompter's right there, bro. The Come fuck? on. I so, said, yes, you've been following us for a while as you report the news, but it's been a dry week. We want to do something different and investigate something that we want to been... spice things up a little spice bit. Spice things up, right? Yep. We've been really curious about the whole phenomenon around the vlog squad. Berkeley met David Dobrik for the first time. I did, yeah, I man. Did. He's a cool. super nice guy, but it's He's weird. Very how, like, nice, very yeah, nice. Guy. But it's weird how like everyone's Are you switched him. up? Don't switch up now. So <laughs> you told him that sweet shit a couple months ago when he was in the dark. Don't switch up now. I said he was a nice guy to me. It's okay, not, like, I'm, I'm, it's I'm, not I'm, like he fed me alcohol. And you, and you still throwing <laughs> shade to work? Damn. Boy, he's a nice dude. God, bro. Damn. Right, so guys, we did an in-depth investigation. Jonah from the Vlog Squad, they opened a kebab restaurant down here in Hollywood. We went and visited it, did an entire tour. We actually got a ride from his mom in the new car. You want to explain that real quick? That shit was, that ride was busting. I'm telling you, it had everything you need. Recliner seats, we talking about but that, that was Starlight. the car that, like, Vardon bought his mom. Yeah. Like, at 14, he bought his mom a car. Bro, that shit's Busted. Yeah, and we crazy. asked her all the questions about like David getting canceled, what her thoughts are on that, and we asked people that actually went and visited the store. So make sure to subscribe, hit notification bell, and let us know down in the comments what you guys think of these kind of videos. It was a, it was a, it was a fun one to film. It was a great. Time. It was great. It was fun, and the food was fucking great. If you have not been to Jonas Kebabs, go check it out. Let's get right into it. So when David Dobrik was originally canceled a couple months ago, you saw this weird thing happen where his like vlog members, like the people around him, didn't really know what to do, right? Yeah, they just, man. Like, they just like went away from him. They just disassociated himself with them. Yeah, because you couldn't really clickbait David. You couldn't really film with him. It was yeah. a weird scenario. And so what happened during that time was Jonah and his family opened up a kebab restaurant. We went and investigated it and see the entire thing. We asked some questions about the whole David canceling event. And dude, honestly, it's just interesting seeing what these people are like in real life, right? And exactly. they're fucking bro. awesome. Dude, bro, the mom was Vardon's working. Vardon's mom is hilarious. She's the sweetest girl ever. Yeah, it, it was a sick experience. We're going to get right into it. I hope you guys enjoy. Here is our investigative report into David Dobrik's vlog squad. Woo! Hunger. As millions of Americans across this country look to put food on their table, we visit one place looking to make a difference, Jonas Kebabs. This is Kai Watson from the Sync Action News. Let's go check it out. Vlog Squad member Nick Antonian, otherwise known as Jonah, has been a featured character in David Dobrik's vlogs for years. But when Dobrik was canceled in mid-2021, Antonian opened up Jonas Kebabs, attracting Vlog Squad fans from across the country. What's your name, sir? My name's Aiden. Anthony. This is your first time here? Yeah, it is. We're visiting from Chicago, actually. What made you come here? I don't know. It's it's L.A. <laughs> yeah, uh, a friend of ours, Ann, lives here, so we just visited. Okay. Anything uh, about, like, the vlog squad that runs this place? I don't know. That's kind of why we came here, but... Mm. Yeah, they definitely attract a lot of people. For sure, for sure. It's fun. Have you seen anybody that you recognize from YouTube? The mom? <laughs> yeah. Pretty, I don't know. Pretty bad, right? Yeah. yeah, and the dad. Yeah. Much like this young man, we also caught up with Mrs. Antonian inside the family-owned establishment. Tell me, what was the inspiration for the kebabs? Beef so delicious, mm. uh, my favorite. I love beef kebab. Oh, it's so good. I try chicken, beef is number one for me. Mm. What I noticed is that there's another kebab restaurant across the street, but you guys are always the most busy ones. Yes, because you see at menu, it's one, two, three. Very simple, very basic, very good. And delicious. I want to ask you one question. I saw some funny reviews. Somebody says, I love Jonas Kebabs, even his own very kebab. Jonas Kebab, number one. Number one. Number one. Three months opening the Jonas Kebab is this the best kebab. And one more question. You have chicken wings? Yep, I have it right here. What are these called? Dobrik's wings. Oh. Dobrik's wings. This is so delicious. Well, I didn't even know you had that. But... David is, maybe one week is, he's come three, four times. He's love giving. His number one is beef kebab. He's love beef kebab so much. Yeah. How did uh, how did you feel about Bardon buying you uh, buying you a car? Oh you my god! That. Oh my god! You want to see my car? Yeah, you want to bring yeah, yeah. my car? You see it? Yeah. Yeah. Known for his appearance in Dobrik's prank videos, such as convincing brother he is invisible, the younger brother of the family, Vardon, recently purchased his mother a brand new van. Quite the accomplishment for a boy of just 14. We got a chance to see the new vehicle close up. Wow. Oh yeah. Damn! Very cool. Let's go. Wow. That's what I'm Let's talking go. about. Let's go? Let's go. This is epic. Let's go. Let's check this out. You know, I have TV too. 
You have a TV? Oh, no way. Yeah. Oh, that thing's huge. Damn. Oh. Wow. Dude, this is better than David's Tesla, for sure. Yes. I'd rather have this than the Tesla, no doubt. 100%, 100%. How long have you had this car for? Oh my god, I love this car it's so much. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh, wow, this is insane. And Vardon, Vardon did it. Vardon, you know, you know oh. what? He's 14 years old. And he bought you a car. He's buying me a car. He's buying me a car. 14 years old. Next month, is he's going for 15. He's born 2006, 2006, September 25. Jeez. What a son. That's unbelievable. Do you like this car? Just like, because my My favorite car is when. I love when. Yeah. I don't like Mercedes, BMW, Tesla. Yeah. I don't care. Then it's for me number one. Dog, what happened? <laughs> the chair is falling off. What happened? If... What? Are you okay? I'm okay, I'm okay. Are you okay? I'm okay. What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, 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 this is for me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Wait, for what? Me. Uh, what? Uh, oh, what? Minor. Let's go. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yes. It's amazing. We need to get a van. This is our next car. Yes, 100%. Have a, so a lot of things have changed since uh, all the social media stuff started, right? Yes. What were you guys doing before? I'm working. My husband worked. Before he's worked his body shop. That he, uh, maybe 40. 40 years he's worked body shop. Wow. He's, wow. he's, he's good body man. Cool, very four, cool. Four years, four, how many years? Four or five years I know David. Mm -hmm. This is my life is changed. My family, my family life is changed. Yeah. Thank you so much for David. Number one. Yeah. He's so nice. He's so good. He's so cute. When uh, when yeah. David was going through all that stuff, did you were you scared for him? No. 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 He was gonna be okay, right? He's okay. He's number one. He's yeah. the best. He's helped everybody. He's helped a lot of people. He's helped my friend, uh, uh, bread bread woman. <laughs> As you can see, David Dobrik sat here changing lives as we came and visited Jonas Kebabs. This entire experience left a great impression on the vlog squad and everything that David Dobrik has done. For The Sync News, this is Kai Watson. Back to you, Rob. Alright, so guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that investigative report. The suit looked good on me, right? You were sweating your sh balls off, dude. dude. I was. It was fucking hot, but yeah. it was a great experience. Yeah, yeah. You get her number, her digits, Kai. That's all that matters. Oh, are we talking about the mom? Yeah. Dude, I did not, bro. I did want to lay down the pipe a little bit, though, to be honest. You I was talking saying? about for, like, food discounts, not for that. You fucking disgusting, bro. I right, so guys, hope you guys enjoyed that. It was a different kind of video. We enjoyed investigating the entire scene, going on that ride. If you like more of those videos, let us know in the comments down below. And we're dropping a new vlog today. That'll be linked on the Sync Uncut down below. Go check it out. Go like and subscribe and love you. We got the podcast dropping tomorrow with freaking Batsheva from the show. Yeah, we had Batsheva from the Netflix show, My Unorthodox Life. Be ready for that. If you want to have all the updates, make sure to follow us on Instagram. We'll see you guys next time. See you guys. Peace. Peace. Peace.